Welcome to what I'm officially declaring is going to be the finale of the Sacred Stones randomizer. Uh, what do I have on me? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same plan I did for when I did the uh, unpromoted challenge in Blazing Sword. I'm gonna let him attack me. Let's make sure my big awesome lance is equipped. Uh, Tana, I need you close to me. Wait, I just remembered something. Yeah, he's got a lot of range. I don't think I can rely on support bonuses as much as I would have liked to until later. Okay, so I gotta be careful because I remember, I'm not falling for this, this is one of those bosses, one of those rare, rare moments where the boss actually moves. Like, the final boss, I even. Like, that doesn't happen a lot in Fire Emblem. But, oh wow, nice dragon statues. I've never noticed that before. Like, cool! You know, I guess I never really took a moment to appreciate what the, like, background of this whole area looked like. Neat. Anyway, uh, there are a few Fire Emblem games where the final boss actually moves. This is one of those games, so I'm not falling for that. Uh, what are the other ones? It's, uh, Binding Blade's final boss moves. Path of Radiance, Ashenard moves, uh, Garen in, uh, Birthright, Fire Emblem Fates moves. Oh, he, I forgot that he does the summon. Oh no! He's gonna summon eight random creatures. Oh, great, and two of them ended up being dragons. Oh. Dang, son. Am I gonna take the dragons? It's not good. Which one of your heroes is Erica? Can you? What? Oh crap! Okay. I expected him to attack Ephraim. Okay. I might have to initiate the attack then. But, I don't know if I can now. Give me something good. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. It's the final chapter. Okay. What are we gonna do? Those are dragons, man! Should I have everyone just attack the Demon King and try to finish him now that I cleared that path? You know what? Let's do that. Ugh. And then I'll use the Latana staff, if anything. Can you hurt him with the Bright Lance? Can you deal damage? Yeah, but you can't hit very well. Except for that low hit chance. Your skill's kind of lower than I thought, and his speed's kind of higher than I thought it would be. Okay, what can you do? Okay, well... I can only reach one of the dragons unless Ephraim can double one of them. He could, but he won't finish it. But you can then reach it. And then, okay, Seth, can you take out the Entombed? You can. Okay, come on, Seth. Dang it, Seth. All you had to do was get a crit. Alright. I might have to use the Latana staff once. Which is earlier than I would have liked to. I did not expect him to summon on the first turn. Okay. You can take out a dragon on your own, right? You can't? Alright, well, let's crit, please. Spin the arrow. That's not what I asked. Come on. Spin the arrow. Bullet. Spin the arrow. Dang it. I thought for sure you would be able to attack him twice. I mean, well, crit him. Okay, Tana. How do you do? Alright, uh, let's get it from this angle, just in case. Okay, get him! Come on, Tana. Use Pierce or something. You have abilities. <gasps> and you critted. Is that enough? Dang it! Can you dodge this? Dang it! Okay. Well, she took out a dragon, though. Which means maybe I'll have Ephraim attack the Demon King this turn after all. If I could still find a way to take care of all these units. Um. <sighs> okay. Eric, 
Erica not being able to defeat that guy is a big inconvenience. Maybe she'll take out the dragon for me. Let's try that. Because the dragon's pretty low. Natasha? I can't believe he's going to survive with 1 HP. Look at that 0% hit chance. Knowing my luck, it'll hit anyway. Man, this is going to be a little rougher than I thought it would be. Please, you have to be able to kill the dragon. Are you serious? I gave you one job to do. Alright, I'm gonna have to leave those other two monsters alive. But I have to take out the dragon. Like, I can't leave the dragon alive. Okay, this is why I saved all those legendary weapons. For these final three chapters, pretty much, but... Okay, well, you're gonna have to defeat the dragon. Yeah, which isn't bad, it's just... Jeez. Okay, everyone's in the Demon King's range now. In Fomor Teases. Wait, oh uh, yeah, Erica can't even hurt him. But she can survive one of his attacks. Okay, wait, let's, let's do this first if it's really what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it from over here. Take a look at this boy. Demon King, I'm going to kill you. That's all you have to say. Look at this boy. Woo! Boom. Look at that. Look at his health. Didn't even change. Ah! Would have been neat if you dodged that. So that's Demon Light. Alright. Gotta use Latana. Heal everyone! I only have one more use of that. So hopefully the Demon King doesn't do anything too crazy. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, he moved! Oh, whoa, whoa, he's using the thing. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm still able to dodge when I'm asleep. I, he, he used the thing. So soon. How, that was a lot sooner than I expect. How long does that last? I'm... Uh-oh. Like, I can use it though, right? I could, I think, use it to heal everyone's sleep. Oh, that's a long time. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, if I have to use it again so soon... Might as well try to do... <laughs> she might dodge. Oh, wait, is his HP actually showing now? I didn't think I damaged him that much. With that from his attack. Oh, man. It hit, like, everybody. Can you take out this archer? Dang it. What are you good for, Spider-Man? do so. Are these like a really... Oh, they're poison claws. Of course they suck. No matter how good his strength is. Let's get it. You know, maybe I can finish him this turn if I have... I don't know if Latana will actually wake everyone up. Get the crit. Dang it. Okay, there we go. 78. Maybe you'll dodge. Maybe she'll dodge. Yeah. Dang it! Land the crit! Dang it. I think I can take this guy out, actually. Okay. Not the worst, but I'm trying to not let anyone die. I don't even know if Latana actually does what I say it does. I guess we're not going to get to see him use Ravager, though. This attack is straightforward. An animation of him just punching you. I'm not... I'm, I'm serious. That's what that is. Please actually wake every... Oh, yeah. Here's all statuses. So this will wake everyone up. Okay, good thing I had this staff, am I right? This would, uh... Well, there goes my legendary staff. That 
the guy who gave us that said that we need to return that to him, but uh, he's not getting that back. Okay. I guess I could have everyone gain up on him now. Oh, he'll kill you! So of course he will. Joshua? You can hit twice? But your chances are low. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's the wrong guy. I was like, what? Okay. Well. Oh, he'll perfectly kill you. What about you, Natasha? Okay, do it. You'll actually land some nice hits. Do it. Yeah! She has a lot of skill. Boom! I actually might finish him off. Demon Light! Will she dodge? You know, I don't think I've ever actually seen any character dodge one of his attacks before. Okay, not that it matters, it's the final episode. Boom! So I'm gonna have to remember what everyone sounds like or come up with, or everyone's just gonna vaguely sound the same because, uh... There's a final part where everyone talks after I beat this, like, every character of the game. And then they go through their epilogues. Two people are dead. So, that'll make it a little shorter. Uh... <gasps> this is our moment. Ephraim, land that kill. Do it. If I did not have that Latana staff, I would have either lost, or a lot of people would have died. That sleep was for four turns. Goodbye, son. I mean, Demon King. What? <laughs> Problem solved! That's it! It's over, isn't it? Yes, evil has been imprisoned, locked away! The legends of old have been mirrored in our actions today. No, we've done far more than the legends ever did. I'm better than any legend. We've destroyed the Demon King's body. He can never come back. That's right, and we have you all to thank for that. And another thing. In that ancient battle, it took the might of the five heroes to do what we did. We did not have their extraordinary power to draw upon. Oh my... <laughs> Ephraim... No, we didn't. We, we, we didn't. We conquered darkness and restored peace to the land, thanks to you. It was because you never gave in. You never stopped fighting. None of you. Not once. Thank you. Dazla, Renak, we're all. We've done it. We, uh, I, I, I'm not reading anymore. <laughs> and a job well done it was, Princess Lalashel. <sighs> it's finally over. So it's about time for me to. Hold it! I gave you no orders for to leave. I am the Princess of Rosten, lest you forget. I have many missions yet to fulfill. Come, Dazla, Renak, it's time to go! <laughs> Wait up! Let's move, Renak! <sighs> well? The darkness, it's gone. Yes, this is the end. That's the end. I guess so. Let's return home, Lady Mare. Our friends and family will be worrying about us. Oh, hey! W teacher! W where are you going? Wait up! I'm coming with you! Your continued safety is all that matters to me, Princess Erica. Uh, General, uh, Princess Erica, uh, uh, we can finally return to Renee's, can't we? Yes, we can go home, all of us unharmed, except for the two people who died for the cause. Um, excuse me. Ah, uh, I'm exhausted. Hey, I'd like nothing more than to laze about for a while. Alas, we're not going to have that opportunity, are we, Prince Ephraim? No, the reconstruction of Renes is going to keep us busy. Keep your strength up. I'm going to need you in the days ahead. <sighs> we'll be beside you through it all. I don't remember anyone's voices. The war is over. Victory is ours. I have to sneeze. Now we ride for home. Oh, cool. Here we go. Epilogue. Where's everyone else's conversation? I thought everyone had a thing they said. Ephraim! It is time I must be going. I am still Princess of Rostin, after all. There is much to which I must attend. Renace and Rostin are far apart, but that distance can be managed somehow. If you and I were to be betrothed... Um, that is. I wonder if I appear too forward. No, how silly of me. 
Uh, I already b gave him supports with someone else. Wow, here's where Erica fought in one of her routes. Ephraim, I must return to Darkling Woods. Uh, with my father gone, much responsibility falls on my shoulders. It's gonna be lonely there. Yet I would ask... I can't make this go any faster. This is the maximum speed for the epilogue. May I come and visit you from time to time? Ah, wow, we stopped home already. <sighs> we co we, we of Frelia will do what we can to aid in the restoration of Renace. If you have need of our assistance, you can come to me at any time. And another thing, it wasn't such a bad thing fighting on the same side as you. That's all! The day will come, though. One day, we will see who is better. Because I'm better than you, Ephraim. You can trust me on that. Didn't I open those treasures? <laughs> Actually, I may not have. Where are you going, brother? We've endured so many, so much to get home, and now... I'm sorry, Erica. I must journey to Grado. I just received word from Seth. In the south, within the Empire, there has been an enormous landslide. A landslide? Yes, word is it was so great that, that whole cities were destroyed. They say the damage is so severe, the Empire itself is in danger. Well, yeah, it also has no leaders. That's... That's why I must go to Grado. The people are saying that this is Grado's divine punishment. But these are the same citizens Leon wanted nothing more than to protect. I cannot ignore their plight. Yes, of course. Not. Oh, yes, of course not. I will ride with you. No, you must remain in Renace. Our country is recovering, but we cannot rest easy. Someone must stay to protect the realm. Ephraim. I understand. I will take your place until you return. I will wait for you in Renace, brother. Please make the text go a little faster. I can always depend on you, Erica. Leon, I will be king. The type of king we often spoke of. Strong and kind in measure. An ideal king. The people of Renace and Grado are under my protection, and I won't fail them. Watch and see. Here we go. Ah, uh, it was, uh, I don't really know what to word this experience with. The, I choose, again, to completely say the randomizer did not help me. <laughs> it, it actively made characters worse for me. Ah, uh, but now we can enjoy these beautiful character illustrations of people fighting with techniques they clearly did not have throughout this entire game. You know, this was the... This is something I kind of miss, like, when they would just show artwork like this. There's a... Falter fighting someone, I couldn't tell. That might have been Seth at the beginning of the game. Ah! Training days. Days of training. Such good moments. Such good memories, am I right? That part never happened, because that was after. Some of these are clearly before or during the story, and some of these are clearly, like, after. It's hard to tell which is which. Yeah! Oh, Tana. You're so beautiful. Anyway. Uh, this was quite the journey. This took a lot longer than I expected. To oh, I never recruited her. Uh, the purple-haired girl. Marissa, I never recruited her. She... I think she died in enemy unit. <laughs> uh, that's right. So technically three people died. Probably no, like five people, because I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't able to recruit uh, Garcia and uh, Ross either. So you know, because the randomizer like prevented me from being. It was impossible for me to get to them. It wasn't gonna happen. Hi, what a what an adventure! This took a lot more episodes than I thought it would. Jeez, you know, I I estimated this finale would be like forty minutes. That's probably still going to be right, because I just remembered I haven't gotten to the where are they now part of the epilogue. Ah, uh, look at that. Keep it up, Intelligent Systems and Nintendo. Three houses better be super awesome. 
Ah, uh, now here's the past again. Oh, are you? I'm... My name is Leon. Uh-huh, that's me. Uh, the son of the Emperor. You're Prince Ephraim and Princess Erica from Renace, aren't you? I heard you were coming, and I've been waiting here all day. I've always wanted... I don't have any friends my own age. So, Prince Ephraim, Princess Erica, what do you say? From now on, let's be friends. See, it's that easy making friends. I know it's awkward, but go make some friends, people. Ah, the amount of time it took me for all my chapters. Wow, 41 for part 5, really? Some of these are longer than I would have expected. Like that, fa oh, father and son was, I remember father and son, that was the, really? Father and son took longer than Darkling Woods? Seth, the Silver Knight. Seth returned to Renace with Ephraim and his fellow knights. His dedicated service made him the most trusted of the new king and queen's guardsmen, as well as the most famous of knights in all of Renace. Oh, I had to restart once because Seth died. That's what that L means. Oh, hey, Franz died once too. He continued to serve Renace with the same dev devotion that he had during the War of the Stones. Of the Stoners, what? His, gener his generous nature and easy smile made him a favorite among the people. Franz the Faithful. Silent Gilliam. Gilliam returned to his home of Frelia, where he continued to serve the crown as a faithful knight. His imposing countenance was said to strike fear. Uh, he was in pink armor in the hearts of even the most arrogant and brash of Frelia's new recruits. He wore pink armor, if I remember correctly. I doubt it. He's dead. Died at Fort Rickwald. Mulder, wise counselor. Vanessa, dutiful rider. She remained on active duty as an airborne knight. How? In Frelia's army, her beauty and determination became the standard to which her fellow knights aspired. She is beautiful, but all the Sacred Stones girls are. Colm, good-natured thief. He politely refused an invitation to become a spy for Renace, returning instead to his hometown. He spent the rest of his days as a chivalrous rogue, helping those in need from the shadows. So these change drastically depending on who I support with, but I didn't focus on supports a lot. Nemi, the tearful archer, zombie. She returned to her village and passed her days in peace and quiet. Years later, she traveled to the capital of Renace as an archery instructor for their military. She never could resist a good cry. She is a zombie. Arthur, saint of light. Arthur moved to Renace to help rebuild the, sh the shattered country. He worked without rest to ease the pain and grief of those who suffered during the war. His self-sacrifice made him into a folk hero among the peasantry. I have nothing about him. Loot, prodigy. After the War of the Stones, I used you a lot. Loot returned to Renace to continue her arcane studies of heavy armor. She spent far less time locked in her library preferring now to explore the outside world. She grew into a great and well-traveled general. Ah, yeah, because I support A supported them. Joshua the Tempest Queen, Natasha, Sacred Healer. When Joshua returned to Johanna, he took Natasha as his bride and claimed the throne as its rightful heir. Natasha was the perfect companion, and together they carried the mighty desert nation to a Great to great glory. Ford, the Wild Knight. Upon Ford's return to Renace, his secret hobby of painting was discovered. He was commissioned as a court artist. His work grew popular, and his days became so busy that he often regretted his, his career change. Ah, uh, Kyle, Ardent Knight. His service to the royal fa- Oh, you died once. Family of Renate uh, continued without change. He became a battalion commander and gained much trust and responsibility for training new recruits. He is a sniper. Ennis, king uh, and strategist. He's a zombie too. As time went on, he succeeded his father, Hayden, 
As King of Freya, his resourcefulness and tactical prowess helped him build a court of loyal vassals that served to lead the country to greater prosperity. Strategician, strategician, okay, whatever. Graceful Serene. Serene continued as commander of Freya's Pegasus Knights. Her grace and beauty in flight were the subject of many songs. Vanessa's older sister, by the way, I don't know if that was established yet. And paintings, and her popularity sword. Get it, sword, because she was a Pegasus Knight, but the general now, Amelia Rose of the War. Following the war, she returned to Grado to assist in her country's reconstruction. She surrounded herself with new friends. I never used her, and used the strength she found on the battlefield. That She's been in zero battles, won zero fights, but she never died, so that's cool. Oh, you've been in 108 battles and won 37 times. That's what those mean, by the way. Following the war, Dussel returned to Grado, where he was instrumental in its rebuilding. He spent his remaining years watching over Grado and sharing his wisdom with other nations as an expert combat instructor. So, the W means how many opponents they actually defeated. Died at two faces of evil. The B is how many times they engaged in combat. Cormag, aloof lanceman. He's a swordsman. Cormag returned to Guerrero to assist in the reconstruction of his country. Shortly after, he left to wander on his own. When he re reappeared, he joined the army not as a knight, but as a common soldier. What? La Rochelle, Queen of Light. She succeeded her uncle as ruler of the Rosten Therocracy. Several years after the war ended, she never lost her unique perspective on life. She spent much of her rule visiting the neighboring countries. It's not how rulers work. Dazla, the Steady Axe. As La Rochelle rose to become queen, he remained by her side, watching La Rochelle grow to become the queen she was destined to be, was Dazla's greatest joy in life. That's beautiful. Renak, rich merchant? La Rochelle summoned Renak back to Rostan, and he was forced to return. He was never able to escape his service to the self-centered princess, who became queen. Admittedly, he didn't try very hard. Well, there you go. Now you know what their relationship is. Garrick, the Desert Tiger. Garrick continued as a mercenary over the years. His reputation grew gr so great that he had more job offers than he could handle. One day, without warning, he left, never to return. Um, you know, I didn't focus a lot on supports, but I highly recommend looking all the supports up of this game if you're interested in the characters. Tennis, belo ten Tethys, beloved dancer, whatever. She danced from, she's a skeleton from city to city, and the entire continent became her stage. Her fame grew and grew, and large crowds gathered wherever she performed. Iwan, enthusiastic student. Seriously though, Iwan continued his studies, modeling his life after the teachings of Selol. Uh, eventually, he uh, his education branched off into different paths. His insatiable curiosity led him to on a trip to explore the world. If you really like the characters of this game, I highly recommend looking up all the support conversations. Selol returned to Kaer Palin, uh, Palin, where he remained a faithful servant uh, of the Manichae. His days were not spent in isolation, though many of his friends he met during the War of the Stones came to visit his village. Selol, the Well of Wisdom. Ah, Myr, the Great Paladin. After she was a paladin, I mean, after bidding her farewells to Ephraim, she returned to Darkling Woods. She lived a long and full life, served by the people of Kaer Palin. Uh, and comforted by the memories of her dear friends. I guess I never used her. Oh, we're nearing the end! Erica returned to Renace and began the reconstruction effort with her brother, Ephraim. Seeing peace return to the lives of her people filled her with happiness. Her smile became a symbol of her people's joy. Yeah! Once Renace was stable again, Ephraim and Tana were wed. Ines protested vocally, but when he saw how happy Tana was, he gave the marriage his blessings. Renace and Frelia are now bound by blood as well as friendship. 
good. Restoration King and Winged Queen. Ah. Uh, wow. I guess we're done. Finn. Look at that, everyone. Back at title screen. Ah. Uh, what a what a journey it's been. And ten minutes sooner than I thought it would. Well, if you have suggestions for new things you want to see on this channel, always let me know. I always want to hear them. Never be told otherwise. I always want to hear what you guys have to say or recommend to me. Alright, hope you join me for whatever's next. Love you, mean it. Click.